Welcome back to the Archibald shop. My name is Rod. This will be the last episode in taking all of the measurements from the Douglas rowboat, putting all of those measurements down on the paper to create the table of offsets, to which, in the future, I will be able to loft the boat out and create a full-size set of plans to build a boat myself. So I did draw a couple of diagonals working its way up this way, but I've kind of decided that actually what I really need is diagonals coming down this way from various points. So I'll be hitting all of the forms with, a, with some sort of a mark. So I'm going to determine that I will draw a diagonal from number 10 water line through, go up here, 10 water line through 22 and 8. That's going to give me a bunch of points up high. So 22 and 8 water line is right there. We're going to call that D3. And then measuring on that diagonal, form number 1 right here is exactly 14.5. So form number one, station number one, number one diagonal, 14.5, so one, two, four. Something I neglected to do when I was taking the profile of the in inner face of the uh, stem was to kind of maybe make some points and marks as to where the inner rabbit line is. So I've been able to just put my pattern back in because it rests quite nicely on the forefoot and all and then I've just kind of clamped it into place with a stick across here. And now I'm using some very thin popsicle sticks as pointers that I can glue into here. Push them right into the crevice down inside there. And we'll get some idea of approximately, it's not going to be perfect, but approximately where the inner rabbit line is.
now have the boat upside down and leveled using the same thing, my razor level between the waterline mark on the bow and the waterline mark on the stem back here. I have then put, a, put my ruler back up and leveled it as well. It turns out that the lowest point or the highest point upside down, the back of the keel here, is four and three quarter inches above waterline. So then I just leveled out my ruler, resting it on the highest point here, bringing it to the back and clamping it up. And then I've just stuck a couple of wedges under here so that it's not sagging because there's a bit of deflection again. So I've got that ruler level. Then I just use my vertical laser level to mark down where the station forms are every 18 inches and just made a mark on some masking tape here. And then it's time to just take all of the measurements. So between the bottom of the keel and the underside of the ruler and mark that on paper. So looking at station number two, I can measure right at the three foot mark is where B. Then I take it to my ruler and that is exactly one inch. And I will mark that down. Station number two, profile of the keel is one inch. How high is the outer rabbit line from the bottom of the keel? It is two inches. So I've got those all marked down on a thing. I'll add those to my lofting marks. This will help in all uh, putting the profile together when lofting out the boat. So I've done all of the stations right through and I've marked them on a piece of paper here and that's going to give me sort of the profile of the keel and the outer uh, rabbit line approximately of where the planking meets the keel. So that's going to conclude this short series of videos on ticking lines off the 9 foot Douglas rowboat. Next up will be a series of videos on actually lofting out the boat full size on some paper to make sure that all of the plotted lines that I have and all of the numbers in the table of offsets are correct. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next series of videos. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you stay informed of all the new videos that will be uploading.